Rockies. <laughs> Tell us about these. <laughs> I swear, I'm eating blueberries here. Now you guys want to do something? You know? No. No. Right, I guess I might as well. You guys are. I need to pay the bills. Bye. Magic the Gathering. A game of wits. A game of strategic combat between two mages and more. Uh, my name is Chris, and this is the first segment of Byron to Sombreon's Magical Adventure of Games. So just board game time. So Magic the Gathering is a game I've been playing while I was missing. And this is the Shadows Over Innistrad. Uh, it's a starter box, but I have a lot of cards, but I just recently got this back. I already opened it up, but I haven't seen any card in it, so... No one likes that. Well, let's start in the beginning. Uh, we have our mana. Which I'll show you one of each mana to show you how cool they are. And then I'll show you the awesome magical cards. And then I'll probably show you like some special lands to be honest, you guys might not understand this. But we're gonna go through cards that I think are cool, that aren't really crappy or anything. But before we go through that, oh, these blueberries suck. Mm. They're, they're good, I just think they suck. They have a swamp. This is black man. Islands, blue mana, oh, mountains, forest, and plains, red, green, yellow. Come on. Buy these cards. <laughs> oh, you know, I love these cards. But it's fine. It's mana. You can get mana for like two cents at a store. You can throw your mana everywhere. You can just go up to somebody with a whole pack of mana and just go. They'll love it. Wanna why? Because I'm Chris and I do not approve this message. But please, do so. <laughs> we'll, we'll from this president or something, I don't know. Okay. But let's start off with the first pile. We have... Mm, let's see what we got here that's, that has a good effect. Oh! Look at that, I have a reflector mage! It costs one colorless, one plane, and one island. It's a human wizard. Uh, it's a 2-3. Oh god, it's gonna suck. When he enters the battlefield, you turn to target creature point of control so it's on her hand. That creature's owner can't cast spells with the same name as that creature until your next turn. That's a cool thing. I have a human deck. I'm gonna probably put it in there. Oh look! I have a blight a blood steep. It's a it's a spe it's a special land. Pretty neat. It gives you one colorless mana and you pay three colorless on one plane. You sacrifice and you gain two life for each creature you control. Now in magic you start off with 20 life. And creatures are usually buff when they come on really early sometimes. Oh cool. For my zombie deck. Ghoul Collars Accomplice. The Human Rogue. Exile Ghoul Collar's Accomplice from your graveyard, put a 2-2 black zombie creature token on the battlefield. These people suck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still eating them, but... Oh. I just have a... Oh, cool. No, okay, that's not cool enough. Uh, Ooh, th th these are pretty cool. Aren't you supposed to be showing them all? I am, but I'm trying to show the cool ones. Like Seed Guardian. At least Metro was the ones are that you're not showing. Yeah, but it's a long list. There's like 500 cards in there. Most of it's mana. I got time. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> so, Seed Guardian is an elemental, has reach. Reach means it can block creatures with flying. When Seed Guardian dies, you put an XX Green Elemental Creature Token onto the battlefield where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. See that? It's 
my green deck. My Nisa deck. I should put my cards and teach how to play. But, Rock Chandler. It's a fungus. Easy to bring out, it's a 1 1. Whenever another creature you control dies, you put a 1 1 count on it. It means if one creature dies, it becomes a 2 2, and so on. So worth a token deck. Oh, dude. Oh, this is an Andrazi card. I don't like it too. You know, some of these cards have the weirdest pictures in, in my life. Oh, my, my. We should do the video just you with all your magic gathering cards that you're going through. Why is Mr. Krabs in here, man? Oh, it's. Hey, wait a minute. Look at it. It doesn't look like something from like Earth Defense Force. Uh, looks more like uh, more like uh, Cromorax huh. and a Beetle. Wait, Cromorax, the, the son of Cromorax, or just Cromorax, Cromorax? Cromorax. Also the, the the senior. Yeah, the Cromorax. So you just look at it. The pins are. Well, look at the angle and how legs are. Don't they look like Cromorax, the destroyer? Dude, look this one too. Well, it's a giant mantis, but it kind of looks like Cromorax. I don't know. Well, what in the world is it? So apparently there's... Whoa, I never knew that... Um... Like 2K, I'm guessing, I think it's... No, 2 what, who made four lands? 2K, right? Look, I have an insect token! I'll have to check. Cool. Oh, cool, I have a solitary hunter. It's a two-sided card. It turns to a wolf. Out of... At the beginning of each upkeep, when no spells were cast last turn, you transform them. You can just flip the card. One of the pack. At the beginning of upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells, you transform it. So basically, you're going back and forth just flipping the card on the table. Isn't that good annoying? Eh, somewhat. Who pick the brain? Sounds like something my zombie deck can use. <laughs> it's a sorcery. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it and exile that card. And it has delirium. Get this. Is there a four more cards in your graveyard? But it's very picky. You need to have a creature, a land, a sorcery, and an instant. Or an artifact. Search your search that player's graveyard. Hand and library for any number of cards of the same name as the exile card. Exile those cards and then play show. Oh, cool! No way! Look at this! He's schizophrenic. <laughs> Whoa. Now that's how, that's what you call a bromance. Yeah, there ain't nothing right about that card. Murderous Compulsion. Destroy a target tapped creature. He got tapped. Dude. <laughs> Whoa. Ugh. It's like something from Silent Hell. Look at that. It's hideous. Hey. It looks like a... Oh, oh my god. It actually looks more like a... Res looks more like... We're gonna like more horrifying liquor from Sonic right, guys. From Resident Evil. Let's liquor from Resident Evil. Let's play let's play Chris Clues. I found a clue. <laughs> I have a clue. Alright, what is it? That's right, blueberries, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> They're just some are sour, some are sweet. These are sour patch kids. They're lying to me. Ugh. It's a two-sided insect card. The perfected form. And there's the back. Okay. What in the world? You know, some of these cards, I like, I love the art, but it's the fact that some of these are just hideous. Uh, look at this. He's offering schema. Hey, <laughs> go schema. I give you skooma because I am a skooma skooma guy. You know, I have a dream that I did all this skooma. <laughs> but, uh, geez. Like, these are all these cool zombie cards I made for my zombie deck. This murderer's axe. 
Wow, dude, look. Just an axe. The flavor text. So you're the first, though the first who raised it in a fit of passion is long dead. The axe still carries memories of bitter scum. That was a oh. This browse is magic stick. This is literally going to be cold. Oh, dude, a holographic zombie card. It's a 1 3, though. It's weak. Plus 2 to come out, so it's not a clue! <laughs> Let's play Clue in Magic's Gathering. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, another <laughs> murderous compulsion. <laughs> you got that. Whoa, another holographic card. Okay. Oh, cool, that's kind of cool. Oh. Whoa, look, a vampire knight. I love that anime. Isn't there an Wait, is there? Vampire Hunter D. Oh, okay, so it wasn't Vampire Knight. Well, thank you, Mr. Bob. Whatever your last name is, Sir Angler Man. But I'm afraid the show must end with you. I'm gonna rob you. <laughs> Give me all your money right now. Ow. Hold <laughs> me on the shoulder, too, I think. See, that, 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 that would not be something. If someone came to me doing that. Whoa, Soul of the Harvest. Soul, oh, look at this beauty. And look at this beauty, it's a blueberry. <laughs> Anyways, dude, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Cost six to bring out. Full color is too coarse. If you don't stay quiet, phone. Uh, anyway, it has trample, which means any excess damage that you get to a flame and a lot Whenever another token creature enters the battlefield, non token creature in the battlefield, and you throw, you draw a card. No. Like, I'll, I'll love to draw a card. I, I don't have a. Oh, look, another Nightmare. A Sphinx of Mogasi. An Aegis Angel and a Drazi token. Ooh. An Unhinged. Oh, I'm guessing that's a good card. You know, it's a basic one. Just cool looking. And another holographic card. Oh, dude, I have more rare cards than anything. Sweet! I gotta find the rest of them. Put them on card sleeves. You know, I would be happy if they stopped giving me Eldrazi cards, you know. Look, there's another one. There is one of these. Oh, look, this is pretty cool. Well, this one's, this card is called Chris. It's so awesome. It costs nothing to bring out. And I can use that as an intro at any time. And it means whenever Christian's in front of you and you try to hit him, you lose the game. And then you lose. And then he can have all the pork one he wants. And then he'll rub it in your face. Like, you'll grab the pork one, season it, and rub it all over your face. Under, not even cooked. As you raw. Like, so raw that you can taste the fat. <laughs> What's your luck? It's gonna, it's gonna happen to you first. You know, I might just play Magic the Gathering online. My record, right, is six wins, 12 losses. I suck at this. <laughs> like, I don't suck at Magic in real life. It's the fact that, you know, there's people out there with decks. And they love to play with the decks. Like, you know, there's no maximum limit to how much you can have in your deck. As long as you shuffle your deck. Oh, speaking of Magic the Gathering. Yeah. So, I might, I might do something funny. I might make a Craigslist ad. Yeah. Where, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll explain to you right when we're off the video. Though. All right. Yeah, okay. Kind of, you gotta keep PG-13 here. Oh yeah, I don't know. Well, then again, it's also a name. Nah, I'll take it right over. But anyways, these are a lot of Magic Gathering cards from Shadow Innistrad. And I got nothing, the only things I got that I love are freaking zombie cards. But, oh look, more lands. whoop de doo I don't want more lands. I have enough. I have enough in like my other boxes at home. Oh my goodness, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, 
the hell is that? Get it. The heck? It's like a rabid wolf thing. It's like a rabid wolf squad. It looks like Ryu if he were on steroids. It looks cannibalism. <laughs> hey, he thinks he's tough, doesn't he? Yeah, he thinks he's something. What in the world is wrong with these parts? They have an anorexic doll. It's a wolf spirit. You heard it here, folks. A wolf spirit. And more mana. Is there anything other oh, physical cards? I bet they're mana. Yeah. So this is all the mana I got from here. But they can't. They can't stop. It's like they have a, a lot of mana, so they're like, you know what? We need to get rid of They must have a little factory pumping out each mana type. I can crack these out anyway. There are a lot of cards that you have to individually keep. But man, it's like they have card sleeves in effect. Like they have like, you know, mana in factory. They're like, we don't want to look at this, so they give it to everybody. That's why they give you like more mana in the boxes than anything else. The, the, like, look, like, Wizards of the Coast, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, you know. Why too much mana if everyone has a lot? I'm gonna like two cents. Look at insect token. And more mana. See? Look, I have all this mana I don't want. Anyone want mana? I'm afraid they don't just simply have mana decks out there and then have all the rest of, cards, the, rest of the cards. That would be so much better. Yeah, but there's also stuff decks. Like, I got four tokens, a couple of keys, a land. Jeez. I like this comment. Another land. Oh my goodness, this is... We're gonna look on another land. I, every land I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go louder. Another land! The same land, I, I'll not... Oh my goodness, more. They're like cockroaches. Is that it? Are these all my little special shiny cards? My little bottom cards are shiny? Well, these are all the cool cards. These are the cards I've been looking for. To show you guys. Good enough for me. Alright, cool. The Green Warden Amaru. The Shivin Dragon. Nightmare. I have too many nightmares. <laughs> the Sphinx of Mogasi. That ain't no Sphinx, that's just a chicken. Show the chicken. Look at it, it's a chicken with lion's body. <laughs> Hey, this Ivy's angel, I would marry her one day. But you know what? I have class, and I would go out with this strange plant creature. Look at it, it's beautiful. I'm gonna call him Billy. <laughs> Billy's very beautiful. I'm gonna put these in car seats, though. These are nice. Hey, go to your room, you're grounded. <laughs> Still recording? See Sparkle your grunt? Yeah. See Sparkle your grunt? She actually went back to her room. Alright, girl. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys a selfie. Come here. Come here. Look at all this mana. See this? All this mana. Why? Look, I love you. I love Magic Gathering. I don't get me wrong. I love you guys to death. But it's the fact that I have. Look, when I buy things, put special lands, not basic lands. Every come on, don't you think? Don't you think people have enough basic lands? Like make like a a website where you know there's starter packs where you give people like a hundred of each mana and a lot of cards and charge them like you know like probably like 30, 40 bucks and give them like one holographic card and make it feel special. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I could sit there in the background with a rules and reference card sheet and be like. Um, that's against the rules. <laughs> You're not allowed to make white mana when your favorite color is blue. <laughs> but, uh... I've had it with this man. You know what? Since we're still on this magic gathering thing, I'm gonna put him back in the box. Like, I don't wanna look at the mana anymore. Like, I like the other cards. I don't know any but it's best if I teach you guys how to play. But also, 
Where are you? Please. Can you help me stop eating these blueberries? Because I really don't like them. Okay, this one's a sweet one. I like this one. It's like pink or poison. Okay, this one's very juicy. Whoa. Hello, my name is Chris, and this is the Blueberry Challenge. We have to have a couple blueberries and drink it within a minute. And I nominate Ryu, that fan, and that other guy. You know the guy. The guy that you see at your supermarket that's always buying the same thing, you know, like Kool Aid or something. Nominate him. But, uh, Screw that. I have a new challenge. Hello, my name is Chris, and this is the mayonnaise challenge. Well, we'll call it egg salad. You take about five dozen eggs, start putting them in a bowl, mix them, and then bathe in it. And then add some onions and all that in the bathtub. And if you can, add some bacon. And cilantro, some cheese, and mayonnaise. You have to do like like 28 jars of mayonnaise. And I'm not talking about those little jars. You have to get like the big, big brand of mayonnaise and just bathe in it. Like go to the beach with mayonnaise on. I promise you'll have a tan. <laughs> and some third degree burns. <laughs> Which is where it's third or first? First degree burns, you're basically dead. You know what, just take some egg wash and put it all over your body when you go to the beach and just lay there. I promise you, you'll, you'll, you'll attract everybody. They'll be like, who's cooking breakfast at the beach? And you'll be like, me. And if you can, if you guys ever go to the beach and I'm ever there, I will put mayonnaise on you and I will cook hamburgers on your back. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give a shout out. Shout out to you. Now which YouTube subscriber is it? Comment down below. The winner wins. Oh man, these blueberries suck. You know, comment down below also why these blueberries suck. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. Cameraman. Yeah, I reused the cameraman today. You're trying to do a very good job. Just sitting here in the but yeah, thank you for watching the show. Give us a free subscribe, scrub, scrub, subscribe, and uh, well, I would say the fun area in the Sea Sparkles corner, but I'm not in the corner. I'm in a chair. So, um, can I see that bottle? This? No, that bottle. Y'all wanna see a trick? Look at this guy, this is delicious work. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, it tastes like scrub scribe. I didn't, I didn't do it. I probably did. You don't know. But uh, I'm gonna do something crazier. Pass me some of that hay. <laughs> <laughs> How can you eat this? How do you eat it first? All right. You probably have to get one of these. Is this grass? It's hay. Yeah, I bet it is hay. This is like the stuff I see outside of grass. Well, I guess it's a product test. Oh! You eat this? You eat this? This is what you eat? <laughs> it's not half bad, but ew. 
Do you want some? Here, you can have some. Nah, I don't mean shake it. I can't believe you actually did that. President Parmesan cheese. I think I need Parmesan cheese for that. I think, I think that's what the whole, the whole thing is about. I think you need to flavor it first. <laughs> like, come on. Like, I'll, all right, so we got a bunch of Parmesan cheese. And as you can see, it's still there, so I'm doing it. It's still there, it's right here. Now, if I do it, you guys have to subscribe. I'm being serious, like, right. there's no drink, no tricks. I'm gonna do it right here in front of the camera. Right here. Ready, set, God be with you. I mean, it's so dry. Not bad. I'm still eating it. I didn't spit it out. That was not half bad. Please do not do that at home. Like I said before, it's a disclaimer. My shenanigans are for me only. Because I'm from the rodeo. Call me Texas State. Call me Texas State. But uh, we're going to conclude the video. So, uh, yeah. We'll catch you next time on Sea Sparkers Corner. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, David. I'm almost done. Alright. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Bye.